Good morning, everybody. A blessed Holy Week. This is a Holy Week, and it's also a W-H-O-L-E week. And there are three parts to this uh, prayer this morning. I'll make a few comments. Then I'll uh, pray a prayer from If Darwin Prayed on Good Friday. And then we'll have a pause. And then we'll have a piece of reflective music. Elizabeth Johnson, in her very, very latest book called Come Have Breakfast, taken from John's words after the resurrection on the, uh, the beach, when he says to his friends, come have breakfast, says something in a few different chapters that have, have me um, compelled, scared, awed, and I don't quite know, quite know what to do with. And so that's really what the prayer is this morning. This is what she says, and she's reflecting on God, our creator. And she says, God, our creator, is 100,000 million times love. God is so loving that there's, God is impelled to share the love. And so the way God shares the love is by being a creator. So creator God creates little cells, starts with one cell. And the cells multiply and they become what God creator loves them into being. So they become frogs. They become squirrels, they become trees, they become stars, and they become human persons. God loves us so much that he thought of us, she, God thought of us as a cell. So think of yourself as one teeny tiny cell. God loves us so much that God wills us as a cell to exist, and this is the thing that blows me out, to exist forever. And if you look at scripture, we've got words like, my love is everlasting, you will live eternally, I will send my son so that you know how to live. So, so that forever, think about forever. Heart attacks will not kill us. We'll die in the current world, but we will live forever. Cancer will not kill us. We'll die in the current world, but we will live forever. That's what God said. Suicide will not kill us. We will live forever. Falls off cliffs will not kill us. We will live forever. So it's my belief that this holy week is God's invitation in the Triduum to learn how to live now as a creator of love so that for all eternity we create love in each other, the way God creates love. And we practice on earth. So earth is like a real big experience of living forever. And if you sit with that this week, it's a little frightening sometimes because if things are awful, you want them to end. And God says, you will live forever in my arms. So I believe that that um, Jesus, the expression of God's love in human form, was sent to us to show us how to practice 
living forever. And so like Holy Thursday would be an experience of, of living in community, in community. And I love the way that the Jewish people they used to eat, you know, reclining, breast on breast on breast. Isn't that cool? Touching, 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 passing food, and, and sharing loving words. So it's not only sharing food, but it's also sharing community. And that's what we're about. And then we come to Good Friday. And I believe that Creator God loved God the Word so much and understood so much that life isn't perfect, that we needed to learn how to live when things were messy and crappy and violent and awful. And to hear Jesus' words to his mom, to his friend John, to us, as he was suffering. I'm gonna just pray this prayer, which is a prayer on Good Friday. And it's called the Spirit's Prayer. I believe this is God teaching us how to live in an imperfect world. Holy Thursday is community and food. Good Friday is how to live in an imperfect world. Oh, Holy One, be with us in this dark hour as we face our collective shadow. We do not do the things that make for peace, but rather do the very things that lead to violence. We are slow to shed our ignorance and quick to justify our foolishness. Our planet joins our lament. The lost souls of extinct animals and those soon to be gone forever cry out this day with the Christ why have you forsaken me? The poor, the left behinds, the humble ones living in ghettos from Rio de Janeiro to Calcutta, to Port-au-Prince, to Gaza, to the forgotten reservations of our own nation cry out this day along with the Christ. Why have you forsaken me? May this story break our hearts, our minds, and our spirits wide open, that we might hear spirits cry, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken us? Help us to die with the Christ, that we might also be raised with him and with all creation and discover our true nature one with your breaking, forever living heart. And the people say, amen. So Jesus shows us through Holy Thursday and his whole life and Good Friday, how to get from there to there because there is an Easter Sunday. So I would invite us now to breathe in life. Close your eyes. Breathe out brokenness. Breathe in life. Breathe out brokenness. Breathe in life. Breathe out brokenness. And we're invited now to sit quietly, acknowledging that Creator God loves us so much that our lives will never ever end. And in your heart, as you breathe in and breathe out, come to grips with the fact that life will never, ever be over. 
earthly life will. But life will never be over. We're living in part one, earthly life. And Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday teach us how to get from here to there. Take some quiet, and at the very end, we will hear the Pie Jesu, Translated, it says, Merciful Jesus, grant us everlasting life. Merciful Jesus, grant us everlasting life. Let us pray. When you visualize the prayer at the very end on the video, you're invited not only to pray the, the music, but also pick up the rubble of your life during these next three days of Holy Week so that you can live Easter and forever whole and connected. Blessed week, blessed week, blessed life. Thank you, Carol. Blessed people's day.
Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Good reflection. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you very much.